So seeing a blood sugar excursion above 140 after a heavy workout isn't always a problem as long as it comes back down an appropriate amount of time, meaning less than two to three hours. Now, an average A1C in someone who is not diabetic is usually around 5%. So normal is considered anything below 5.7% by the American Diabetes Association. Now, what I like in someone without diabetes, if they're concerned about prediabetes or have a strong family history of type 2 diabetes, it's often nice to look at these hemoglobin A1C numbers and see if they change over time. If your A1C was 5% for many years and then it creeps up to 5.5 or 5.6 all of a sudden, it's a sign that there may be a way to optimize things. Now, how stable is non-diabetic blood sugar? Here is the part that people don't realize. In someone without diabetes, blood sugar rarely swings very high or very low. It might rise 20 to 40 points after a meal, and that's considered a normal healthy response. It is important to understand that in people without diabetes, those brief excursions above 140 can occur in healthy individuals, and the intent is that the blood sugar on average stays below 140 and stays in that A1C range below 5.7. Now, it doesn't usually spike to 180 or 200 very often unless there's a huge load of sugar, like someone drinks a soda, or if someone has insulin resistance.